UtahGunExchange.com, the nation's patriot marketplace. Buy, sell, trade. Is cutting things your thing? Watch till the end of this video to see Blade HQ cut some things. I've partnered with Olight to bring you these videos and a special offer. Stay tuned. Hey guys, we're at Shot Show 2018 at the Kershaw booth. We're here to talk to Andrew, one of their designers. How are you, man? Good, man. How are you? Awesome. I want to talk about some knives. Does that sound good to you? Absolutely. Let's do it. Okay, what do we got? Sweet. So, all right. So, up first, we've got the Camp 10 Tan. So, the Camp 10 we've already made, and it's an excellent knife. Um, really, really great product. But we've taken it and we've put this kind of coyote tan color on here to give it more of, you know, like a desert tactical kind of feel. So, if you're not familiar with the Camp 10, it's an awesome knife. It comes with a really sturdy plastic sheath. But you can actually, it's ambidextrous, so you can flip these straps over and it's the exact same thing on the front as it is on the back. So if you're left-handed or you want to carry two, you can do that. Let's take a look at the knife. 65M MN steel, which is a pretty good blade as far as like toughness goes. It's a really sturdy blade, black oxide coating on there to preserve preserve the steel. We've got this excellent texture on here. I mean, it feels it feels really good in your hand. You can get a really good grip on this. And the balance on the knife is just it's awesome. Um, so yeah, so on this we took the, this used to be black with gray, but we changed the, the guard and the pommel to black. We changed this to the coyote tan, and it just, it just feels really good. So it's the same camp tin, but just, you know, giving it a new look, kind of freshening that up a little bit. Nice. Yeah, and that goes for $69.99 MSRP. 99. Okay, is yep. that more than the original or roughly the same I price? I believe it's the same price range, yeah. Oh, okay, same cool. price. makes sense. Yeah, and also it's a full tang, 10-inch blade, and it's a full tang knife. So it's, it's a really good product, one of my favorites. Good. Uh, all right, up next. We've made, you've probably seen these before. These, this is the ration, but we've made them in color now. Um, so you can get them in teal, orange, and green. Uh, 3CR 13 steel, so it's, you know, you wouldn't want a blade out of that, but for a, for a spork, it's perfect. Uh, it's really compact size, has a carabiner here, so you can hook it on your belt loop or your backpack, uh, which is really nice. Fork, bottle opener, and spoon. Uh, really great product. I eat a lot of trail mix in the office with it, uh, so <laughs> it's good. Um, and then so, if this is too small for you, we've made the ration XL. So, okay. um, yeah, my boss was out camping trying to eat out of a mountain house bag with the other one. Right. And it wasn't quite right. So no. he said, well, you know what? Let's make a bigger one. Okay. Um, so, yeah, so we've got these as well. Uh, same steel, same, you know, really, really good product. I'm really happy with this. It just, you know, it feels good. It's about the, about the size of, you know, a regular, you know, spoon or fork. Um, it's really pretty useful. It's still got the carabiner gate on there, so you can hook it on. Still really portable. Um, and so these come in, the, the Bead Blast version is $9.99 MSRP, mm -hmm. and then the Kermit the Frog green version is $10.99 MSRP. Okay, um, okay. Yeah, and then these are $8.49. I forgot to mention that okay, for, the, for the smaller ones. Yeah, Yeah, that's a good size. And I could yeah. see digging into the bottom of a mountain house and exactly. not getting like, hands all covered in sauce. Right, yeah. yeah, yeah good. You know? um, so that's, that's what that's designed. Uh, the coating on it is what? It's, it's a food safe coating. I don't know the exact coating, okay. uh, but we use it on some of our other uh, Kai knives. And it's made with yeah, it's a, it's a food safe coating. Okay, that's that's going to be a critical that. thing. So yeah, and that's a good, really good this, question. Yeah, um, dishwasher safe and all that stuff. If you want to throw the dishwasher. Yeah. Okay, good. I believe so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, cool. So let's get started with the knives. So first up, we've got the fault line. So right here, uh, MSRP on this is thirty nine ninety nine. Uh, we've got a eight CR thirteen MOV blade with a black oxide coating on it. This is really cool. It's got this, this extra jimping on here on the spine. It's really unique. I haven't seen a lot of knives that do that. That's just something kind of neat, a unique detail here. It opens with KVT. So you get, as you can see, you get a really smooth, smooth action on that mm -hmm. there. Uh, it's ball bearing washers. We've got injection molded handles here with glass filled nylon. But what's really nice about this is that this rubber mold here, it gives a lot of character to the knife. It gives a really good feel, good grip. Um, adds to that kind of that workhorse feel on this knife. But the cool thing about this is we didn't glue it in. This isn't an insert that we just you know, glued in. This is a part of a two-shot mold. So the plastic and the rubber are put together in the same mold, which is a lot more solid construction. Okay. Um, and you're not going to have this you know, peeling out or anything yeah, like gotcha, that. Yeah, gotcha, gotcha. Um, it's just really you know, solid there. Can I get that hand for a sec? Absolutely, yeah. It has an inset liner lock, so it's mm -hmm. super lightweight. Um, it's still going to be strong. Um, this is definitely a knife I would recommend you know, if you're looking for something you know, that you can really beat up and is going you know, to hold out really well. Um, so yeah, yeah so nice and smooth. Yeah, so that's the fault line in MSRP is $39.99. Got a cool look to it. All right, on. what else? All right, so next up we have the Duo Jet. This one opens with Speed Safe, so it's got that really good snappy action right there. We've got 8CR13 MOV blade, gray PVD finish over the knife. We also, on this, this is something new we're doing this year, we have carbon fiber inlays on the inside. So you can see those inlays in there. Just add some, you know, add, make it a little, you know, flashier, a little more interesting to the knife. Um, also have the logo engraved in there, which is nice. Uh, we've got a lanyard hole in the back, which is kind of neat. Uh, so this is 
speed safe action and it's a frame lock which is really good you know super sturdy uh, it's a really good you know solid solid Kershaw knife you got a single position clip with a black oxide finish cool. uh, so yeah and that MSRP is uh, 34 or no no, no sorry 44 99. 44.99. Yep. That sounds about right for what it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yep. speed safe, like you said, That's before right. on that, which you can feel as you close it. Yeah. Looks good. Feels pretty good. Not too heavy. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna put it in the upper threes, probably mm. ounces. That's my guess, just looking at it. But yeah, good looking, cool. Awesome. And so this this one's even lighter. This is the fringe. It also has that snappy speed safe on there. But something neat about this one is that. The, the back handle is even a little bit is so thinner than the front one, and okay. it does it's not going to make it weak. But the reason for that is just so it's a little bit lower profile, slimmer, lighter weight, you know. Mm -hmm. But you still got that frame lock on there, so it's still going to be sturdy, um, and it still opens with speed safe. Got that single position clip, lanyard slot in the back. Here on the front, you can see we have an 8CR13 MOV blade with again the gray PVD finish. We've got that carbon fiber inlay again in here. And what's really nice about this one, what I really like, is this stair stepping texture. You'll feel it when you hold it. Yes. It kind of adds an interesting feel to the knife and this is a you know kind of a ripple texture that you know just makes it a little bit more interesting to handle for sure for sure very aesthetically pleasing too i like it awesome yeah good one all right sweet so um yeah so then after that this is the outright what's really cool about this one as you can see it's blue and they did a really good job it's a really consistent blue pvd finish on this knife um and it also opens with speed safe and is a is a frame lock so you know super sturdy there We've got a real G10 uh, overlay on the top, which is really nice. And the cool thing about this one is that the price on this is $39.99 MSRP, which is a pretty, you know, it's a pretty low cost for, for a Kershaw knife. But you get a real, a, a blue PVD finish, which is a, it's a nice finish on the knife. And you get real G10 on that overlay there. Mm. You can feel it. It's kind of different. kind of has a Persian, a Persian blade. Yep. Opens with that speed safe. Kind of upswept thing to yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, the PVD finish, I hope the camera's picking it up, gives it a sort of a smoky kind of a blue sort of a thing. I don't know how to describe it, but you get it in hand and you look at it up close. It's cool, you know. It's not just like a like a, you know, like a, a painted on or some other kind of a coated thing. The PVD is really interesting looking. Man, I like it. Good. Cool. Awesome, man. All right, let's keep moving. So, the next 7 or so are ones that we've done collaborating with other designers. So, you can see these 7 here. Um, so, up first, we've got two pieces from Yin's Anso. This is, we came out with the Fraction last year, so this probably looks somewhat familiar to you. We did the same thing with this that we did with the Camp 10, where we took a black and we turned it to this kind of coyote tan, flat dark earth tan on there, just to, again, give that kind of desert tactical look. Uh, the Fraction's really nice. I love the black wash finish on this. kind of has a sort of distress, but, you know, obviously it still looks really great. Goes well with the tan. We have carbon fiber on the top. So something neat about these knives, we have a few like this. If you imagine, this, this is not like just carbon fiber we've glued on. It's real carbon fiber, but what we do is that we take the G10, which is put in layers. So if you imagine like layers of a cake, mm -hmm. the carbon fiber is like the icing on top of that cake, and then they compress it all together and then machine away the carbon fiber to okay. reveal the G10. Okay. So again, this is not something where it's gonna like peel off or whatever, it's really solid, solidly constructed. So you get the carbon fiber look, but you get the G10 price. Uh, so again, super lightweight, mm -hmm. inset liner lock there, opens on those KVT ball bearing washers. It's an excellent knife, super lightweight. So the other ones we saw in carbon fiber, would those be a combination of carbon fiber and G10 as well, some of the other ones? Uh, no, for these with the carbon fiber inlay, yeah. this is just carbon fiber. That's Pure been, carbon fiber. Yeah, they'll you know cut out a slot for that and then they'll, they'll glue that in okay, into cool. that handle scale. All right, cool. Yeah, man. Um, and that that is $49.99 MSRP. $49.99, mm -hmm. okay. Yep. So up next is another one from Yens, kind of similar to that, opens on KVT. Um, this is one of my favorite ones we've done this year. We've got a black wash blade, again, 8CR, 13 MOV steel. It's a pretty standard Kershaw blade steel there. What's nice is the whole handle, uh, both handle scales are G10. We've got this awesome kind of these pockets machined in there just to give it, you know, kind of a good look. Uh, inset liner lock, super lightweight knife. MSRP on this is $39.99, which is great considering how much G10 you get, which is really nice. Mm -hmm. Another thing I really love about this is this backspacer with the lanyard loop incorporated. This, I feel like that shape for the lanyard loop is a very kind of iconic Yen's Anso design element that really kind of makes the knife, you know, it feels like a Yen's, Yen's piece, which is okay. really, yeah, sure, really excellent. So yeah, and then you've got single, I think it's a single position pocket clip on the back. Okay. Um, opens on KVT. Thirty-nine ninety-nine MSRP. That's going to be a good seller right there. I, I definitely hope so. I Honestly, really, I really love it. Feels, feels great when you open it. Yeah, that um, one is not spring assisted right there. No. But it still flies right out. It's got a good uh, ball detent on it, which kind of retains it well in the you know inside the knife. And then you got to give that a bit, good bit of force, and it just pops right out fast. It's nice. 
Yeah, totally. Could what, did you say the, uh, what did you say the price on that one was going to be? Thirty nine ninety nine. Thirty nine ninety nine. Yeah, for what you're getting, that's a really that's a really good good price on that one. Yeah, it'll sell well. Awesome. All right, sweet. Up next, we've got this is a collaboration with Rick Hinderer. So if you follow Rick's work, he made a knife called the Maximus, which is just an epic feeling knife. So we've made a Kershaw version of that called the Decimus. And it's really awesome. We've got this bayonet grind on here, kind of a dagger shaped blade, which is super fun. Um, and the bayonet grind there, it's something that's kind of like unexpected, but it, it works like, really well and gives it kind of an aggressive yet sturdy and rugged feel to this knife. Um, the bottom is obviously sharp. We didn't sharpen the top, which, okay. which is nice. I like that because it's less likely to you know, yeah, 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 cut yourself with that. Well, it's a folding knife, you don't want that top portion right. <laughs> Especially exposed and able to cut you in the pocket or something like that. Exactly. And this also, it opens with speed safe, so you get that snappy action there. Okay. We've got, it's a frame lock with stone wash handle scales, uh, which again gives that kind of epic, rugged, rugged feel to the knife. We have glass filled nylon overlays, um, which again, is they have a texture which is is uh, hinder inspired, very similar uh, to, the, this, to his knife. And I really love this knife. It feels, it feels like a hinder piece, you know, mm -hmm. it's got that look. Um, that you can see the cross guard on there. It's nice that the bottom part of that cross guard actually serves as the flipper for the knife. Okay, yeah. Um, which is really great. Um, and again, you got that, that frame lock there, it's super sturdy. Um, it's got a filler tab as well. You can put the clip on either side of the knife, mm -hmm. so it's ambidextrous. Um, and the filler tab there, again, it just makes it, gives it that hinderer look and feel, um, which is really, really great. So that's the, that's the Decimus, and MSRP on that is $49.99. Decimus. Yes, Decimus. Uh, a lot, very cool symmetry to it. You know, it is a very symmetrical knife, which is um, really nice. Good dagger look, yeah, yeah. And, and very, like you said, kind of hinder esque. I like it, man. Cool, thank you. Nice, nice, nice. What's All right. going on next? So up next, we've got a collaboration uh, with R.J. Martin. This is called the Fly Through. Opens on KVT. And what's really nice, this knife really takes advantage of the KVT because we have all this open space here. We were able to use the see-through pivot, which is something iconic and unique to RJ, something that he does some work with, and it's really neat. Um, it gives a really good, like from a design standpoint, really good focal point um, on the knife there. And we also cut out this roof, this window here. And what's cool is we designed the blade tang to also fit inside that reveal. So it's just like an extra, you know, kind of hidden detail, if you will, um, kind of second read sort of thing. Uh, you got a black oxide finish on here, 8CR, 13 MOV blade. You've got this place for your thumb to go right there on the mm -hmm. blade with some mm -hmm. jimping, so that should feel pretty good. You can see it's a frame lock with a double position clip so that, you know, it's ambidextrous, uh, yeah. which is nice. And just has a, has a pretty good action, just really f feels like a pretty fast knife uh, aesthetically, which I really, I really like that one. So. That see-through pivot, man, that's pretty pimping. It's, it's pretty rad, yeah, for <laughs> sure. I like um, it. Sweet. Uh, how long has, he, has RJ Martin been doing that? That's a really good question. Or is that a brand new thing to this I, knife? Uh, so for us, this is the first time we're using it on a Kershaw and a ZT. I don't know how long RJ's been doing it, but I'm sure you could you know look that up on, on his on Okay, his sure, sure, yeah. yeah. Um, as far as, it looks like, how would you adjust that pivot if you wanted to adjust oh, it? Oh, I'm so, dude, I am so glad you asked, Shane. So we have designed a, um, a custom tool that works with it, and it is a custom pivot, but we've okay, got okay. this tool, you can see there's six pins in here. Uh -huh. It's really nice. With this tool, um, the pins are machined out of the same steel, so I think they're going to be less likely to you know, kind of break off. It should sure. be a pretty, okay. pretty quality same block tool. Of steel. Mm -hmm. Got yeah. it. And it's attached with magnets, fits together really, really nicely right there. Hmm. Um, real quick before I move on, um, this is fifty nine ninety nine MSRP. Okay. So it's a little bit higher, but for again for what you're getting, you know it's all steel, black Kinda oxide custom, finishing. Pretty pimping. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, so you put those together on each side, and you kind of you know can twist that to kind of fine tune it. Gotcha. Um, something else that's really nice with this. Doesn't come with that though, right? You it need does to buy not. That separately? You have to buy it separately. Okay. Yes. And the MSRP for this pivot tool is um, thirty nine. Is thirty nine ninety? No, sorry. Twenty four ninety nine. Sorry 20, guys. Okay, twenty five bucks. Um, Got yeah, it. lots of prices to keep in mind. Um, no problem. So there's a you can see this hole in the back there. One really nice thing about this is that if you have you know any kind of screwdriver or T tool, you can slide it in there, which allows you to get like a kind of a T grip yeah, on that, sure, sure. which really helps you get some good good leverage on there. Yeah, which get is the really torque important. you need. Gotcha. Yeah. Cool. So yeah, this is just to fine tune it, and you know it is kind of expensive for a tool, but we wanted it to be something that was be you know like a pretty pretty durable, pretty durable tool, and it, I think it looks pretty cool too. I really like. You the, said that this is going to be featured on some ZTs too as well. Yes, I did. And we'll so get to that. We'll get bit. to that in a second. But we will. This is probably why we have a dedicated tool for this. You got right, it. Right go on. For it. Right on. All right, cool. So that's that one. We've got two more uh, Kershaws that we've collaborated with a designer on. These are both 
Dmitry Sinkovich designs. We have the concierge and the Atmos, mm -hmm. and I'll talk about them individually. But a big reason why we wanted to do this, you know, with a lot of our custom designers, you know, we really love the work that they do in ZT, and we want to bring it to mass market. And with Dmitry, I don't believe we've done any curse draws with him yet, and we wanted to bring that and make that available and accessible um, to your, your everyday enthusiast. So okay. let's take a look at this. Right, let me move these out of the way so you can really see this. So this opens also with KVT. This has got that smooth, sort of snappy action on there. Um, you've got two-tone finish on the blade, you know, 8CR, 13 MOV blade, uh, blade steel on that. We've got satin on the grinds, and we have sanded flats there. You can, hopefully you can pick that up on the camera. Okay, yeah. Um, you know, it's, a really, it's a really simple knife. You'll feel it when you pick it up really lightweight, uh, which I really like. Again, inset liner lock. We did the same thing where we have that carbon fiber oh, overlay. That's lightweight. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's lightweight. Um, wow. And it's nice too, you know, you can see the pivots on there. We didn't just use, you know, your typical pivot screw. Uh, the MSRP on that's $49.99. Um, yeah, that's worth it. Yeah, absolutely. It's lightweight. And you've, again, you've got that carbon fiber overlay where that's like kind of the icing on top and then we machine it away. Mm -hmm. So it's solid construction. Got a lanyard loop in the back. Um, we also have a filler tab on this so the pocket works on both sides. Um, yeah, cool. Perfect. Yeah, and the, another nice thing about this is the liner lock is pretty easy to get to. Um, How deep to that is. It. That's great. Yeah. That's great deep carry. Okay, you said the liner's really easy. To, oh, I see that now. Yeah, yeah it's way pretty easy. easy to get your thumb in there. Oh, dude, super smooth. Super, yeah. No spring assist. Some of you guys are gonna be, you're gonna freaking drool over this. Mm. Which one? What's what's this one called again? The Atmos. Atmos. Yep. Yeah, yep. dude, that's gonna weigh. It's gonna freaking sell like crazy. Atmos. Awesome. Oh, well, I'm glad to hear you say that, man. Yeah, I love it. Sweet, man. All right. Beautiful. So we got one more from Dimitri. This is my favorite curse rod we've done this year. This is called the Concierge. Again, opens really smooth. This one is all about simple elegance, which I'm really glad we used KVT on it because it gives that smooth, elegant opening. So it feels, you know, as elegant as it looks. Uh, it's a really simple blade design. It's nice. It's, a, it's a, one of the longer curse rods that we have as far as the blade goes, but uh, it doesn't feel super big or super blocky because of the way this G10 overlay has been machined. So again, you've got a frame. You got a frame lock on here, um, so you can kind of barely see in there. So it's going to be strong. But we put these G10 overlays on there, and they've been crowned so that if you see, it gets kind of thick around the middle. But it's, it's very, you know, it's, it's trim along the edges, so it doesn't feel blocky. But you can still, you'll feel it when you pick it up. You can still get a really good grip on okay. this. So it's it a, yeah, it's just a simple, elegant knife. I love the pivots on there. They're just, you know, it's the kind of the minimalist in that sense. And also, as you're panning along the back, you can see we've got a recessed pocket clip on there, okay. which is something kind of different. It's a lower profile. Oh uh, yeah, makes it slimmer. It's super unique. Uh, when we first saw the design that Dimitri uh, gave us for that one, I'd never seen anything like it. But mm -hmm. it's definitely different and adds kind of some uniqueness to this knife. Do you want to stick that in your pocket? Show me how that works. Yeah, totally. Let me make sure. Yeah, we're good to go. You come around over here. Okay. So it's super easy. You know, you just kind of you can pull that up and it goes right on in there. It does ride a little high, but again, you you have a, it's much flatter. Yeah. On the back there. And it like completely sinks into the knife and kind of yeah. locks in yeah. place. It's pretty cool. Yeah. No, it's a great knife. I, I love it. Like I said, probably my favorite curse rod we've done this year. What's that one called again? That is the Concierge by Concierge. Dimitri Sinkovich. Okay. And that goes for $59.99. $59.99. Uh, Atmos so far is my favorite one, dude. Oh, good. That's Easy. awesome, dude. This goes, uh, you said $49.99. $49 and was it 8CR? Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. 8CR blade. Yep. If it was $420, I would be raving like nut, like crazy about it. But 8CR is pretty good, too. Yeah. For especially sure. for the price range and yeah. everything else you're getting. Cool. Absolutely. All right. All right, sweet. So. So seven years ago, you might, if you follow ZT, you'll know that we made the 777, which was a big hit. And since then, we made another ZT called the 770, which is kind of in that vein. And we have the 7007 Natrix that came out last year. So this year, we're kind of filling in that family with some more Natrix-inspired, 777-inspired knives. So you got to check these out. We've got something for everybody here. We've got the big brother in the family. This is the Natrix XL. Three point, there's like three and three quarter inch blades, super long, probably the longest one we've got in the lineup this year. Really, really solid knife. What's nice is this knife is huge, but because we use G10 handle scales with a patented subframe lock, it's really lightweight. Uh, so you can take a sure. can, opens with KVT ball brain washer, so it's really smooth. That is um, light, man. It has a pretty, pretty good detent on there. Um, again, we're able to get away with using G10 on the handle scales because we have that patented subframe lock. So you still have the structural integrity of a, um, of a frame lock. Designer on this design. again? Um, it's in house. In house, in -house design. design. Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. yep, absolutely. Nice. Yeah. So all and all the Natrixes have open with KVT and have that sub that subframe lock. Also, it has a two position clip, um, mm -hmm. which is deep carry. So it's pretty pretty and solid. You've got this clip. whole area in the back carved out for the clip. Which yeah, is kind of cool. Fits in really well. Yeah. It's got a neat aesthetic to the it too. Yeah, yeah. Well done. For sure. So yeah. So cool. this in the same vein as that. This is the black Natrix. 
it's kind of stealthy, you know, stealthy looking, kind of that black tactical kind of look. You've got mm -hmm. black oxide on the blade and the hardware. You can see, so you can see the size. This is the size of the 7007. Mm -hmm. um, but again, it's all black. You've got that same, that sub frame lock on the back. Gotcha. There. And this is $64.99. This one, MSRP, $79, or yeah, I think it's $79.99. Okay. Um, let me double area. check that. It might be $69.99. Okay. All right, and this is $64.99. So here we've got, this is this is $69.99. Uh, this is the carbon fiber matrix. Again, we've got that G10 and carbon fiber combination there on the front. Mm -hmm. um, we've got gray PVD over this, keeping it pretty classy. With that, again, matches the blade, sub frame lock, and the clip also have that gray PVD on there, just for that kind of that, that sleek, that fast kind of sort of flashy look on that. Again, mm -hmm. opens on the KVT. Um, so yeah, this is $69.99, and this one is $79.99. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Yeah, so I had to, again, tons of prices, trying to keep all those straight for you. Yeah, no problem. You do it fantastic. Oh, thanks, Shane. So check this out. This is awesome. This is the baby brother of the family, but it's awesome. This is a car the copper uh, nature, and it's obviously called that because we've got copper handle scales in here, guys. you got to check this out. Oh, okay. So one of the nice things about the subframe lock is that we can use materials that ordinarily you couldn't use in a knife just because of the structural limitations, but the frame lock, the subframe lock there gives you, again, that structural integrity, so you can use really interesting materials like this copper, which is really, really great. Um, another neat thing about this knife is that it's got D2 steel. Um, okay. Which is again, you know, yeah, we're it's talking. A great, yeah, great <laughs> edge retention on that. Uh -huh. um, so it's a, you know, it's a small one, but it's a really for what you're getting. It's I mean, it's an excellent knife. Small, great for everyday carry. You know, it's a, it's a it's a pretty classy classy knife. So you can take a look at that. Yeah. That's eighty nine ninety nine uh, because of the copper and the D two steel. Eighty nine, you said. Eighty nine ninety nine. That's, that's actually right. not bad for what you're getting. Yeah. Okay, that was a little slow on the flip. I'm trying yeah, to it is. Okay, get it right, and it's no problem. Smooth though, yeah, man. And the copper is gorgeous, and uh, D2 is good. So honestly, for that price, I got no complaints. Yeah. Nice, nice size too. Really good size, actually. Yeah. I would buy this. I'd carry this. Yeah, it's really good. It still fits in your hand pretty well, you know, even though it's a, it's a pretty small knife. Yeah, I so, love that. Yeah, awesome. I'm good. glad glad to hear it, man. All right, so last up for the Natrix family, this. Okay, I said that other one's my favorite. This might be my this might be my favorite Kershaw that we've done this year. I don't okay. know. This is USA made. This is the final. This is like the piece de resistance in the Natrix family. This is the Quad Seven Bare Knuckle, um, and the name kind of says it all. It's an awesome name. It's you know kind of a lean, mean um, you know fighting machine right here. Uh -huh. We've got a three and a half inch blade, 14C 28 in blade steel. Um, again, this is USA made knife. Uh, which is great. This is the, the one Kershaw USA we got this year. You've got a really cool pivot on there. Maybe zoom in on that. It's a pretty unique, unique pivot. Black oxide finish on there, and, as well as on the hardware. So I uh, saw that uh, pivot on one of these other ones. Yes. Or similar, not the exact same, but kind of similar, where it's like... Yeah, kind of uh, dished out in the middle. Yeah, con concave. I love yes. it. Oh, dude, no, I love those. Those it's are my favorite a, pivots. It feels nice, number one. It's fun to kind of play with and sink your thumb into, but yeah. uh, it looks really cool, too, when the light hits it. Yeah, so absolutely. That's kind of got that same effect to it right there. I like good, it. Good, good. That's awesome, dude. Um, favorite thing about this, definitely the aluminum. You've got that awesome Kershaw USA aluminum on there mm -hmm. with a great matte, matte finish. I um, absolutely love that. And again, same deal. You know, Because we have the patented sub frame lock on there, you get the structural integrity of a frame lock, but we're able to use something lightweight and awesome looking like aluminum on that. Good. You can see you know, double position clip. The backspacer too on this, I really love how it flows and it just really fits in well. It's really simple, but it fits in really well along the, the spine of the knife, the knife handle there. Yep. So yeah. Good looking. Yeah, what do you think? Let's have a try here. These are well balanced. I'll tell you that for sure. Good, good. Like they just have a good feel in hand. Oh yeah, no, I, I love this one. Uh, this one was Open, 14 on, C28N, is that what right, you said? That's absolutely right. And it's it opens I really KBT. like. Yeah, I really like that. Good, good. Um, some of the other ones were, let's see, were there the other Natrix knives, uh, yeah. were some of those in the same steel? So, so D2, this, is, this is D2, the others, hold up, let me get that right. There we go. Yep. This is D2, the others are 8CR. Okay, good, okay, yep. good mm -hmm. to know. Yep, yep, so that's what we've got for Kershaw. Um, so if you're ready, we'll go on to ZT. Ready. All right, let's do it. So first up, this is a collaboration with Dmitry Sinkovich. This is the, sorry guys. We got flipper issues today. today, man. Nah, see the thing is, this is something I do all the time and it's the trick with ZTs and a lot of our frame locks. If you have your thumb down on the frame lock, you're kind yeah. of you're putting too much undue you're, pressure. Yeah, there. you're get, creating so friction. You got to keep your thumb along the back there. And as long as you do that, you hold it nice and loose, it'll go right open. Okay. So it's not an issue with the flipper, it's just part of the design, you know? Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. You know, stick shift versus automatic sort of right, 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 right. So with these, all of our ZTs this year, this is really great. They have CPM 20 CV steel. So we're bringing you the best steel, top-notch steel that we've got. Um, 
on all of our ZTs. You can see the satin grinds and the two-tone with the stone wash on the flats there, finish there. The, this, this is really nice. This is the basically Dimitri's Palachoki, if you're familiar with Dimitri Sinkovich's designs. Okay. Uh, we worked on him with this. Also, if you follow ZT, there's the uh, the 460. It was a little bit smaller. As you'll see, this one's a, a larger knife, um, which I think goes really well. The, the size goes well with the Persian upswept blade. On yep. there, I kind of think of this reminds me of like you know like an Indiana Jones villain sort of sort of <laughs> knife, right? Sure, sure. Um, again, we've got frame lock on the back, titanium back handle skill. So this knife is awesome. What you've got, you got a 3.7 inch blade, so it's a it's a monster of a knife as far as the size goes. But it only weighs 3.7 inches, and the reason for that is because we have on the front scale this red infused carbon fiber, which is of course lightweight, mm -hmm. and on the back we've got titanium. But it's okay. not just titanium. If you can see, I don't know if you can catch it in the light or not but we machined out a lot of really cool pockets to relieve weight from the inside of it. And we didn't just do, you know, like circular holes in it to make it lighter weight. They're all intentionally designed so they don't just, you know, feel good, they also look really cool. Okay, we um, can just barely see them in there, yeah. Yeah, it might just be one you have to buy it to see it in person, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and if, if you can see this too along the edge here, we machined the Zero Tolerance logo along the edge here on the top on the inside, yeah. What? See if you can catch that. What? Super cool. This knife is all about the hidden details, which just, it makes it a really fun piece, you know. Um, yeah, I just and barely just really, see it there. Really cool. awesome knife. So again, that's CPM 20 CV steel. Yeah, I the, love 20 CV. Good, yeah, yeah I do. It's, it's excellent steel. Um, see you later. And so we got that there, and that's um, going to MSRP at $300, $300. Okay, sounds about right. Mm -hmm, yep. And we got a titanium clip on the back. Should be two position, um, two position clip there. Mm -hmm. Again, you've got some pretty interesting, um, interesting pivots there. Dimitri always does really. Really cool, unique, unique work to be sure. Um, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really loving this sort of the shape of yeah. the, the frame here as well. Yeah. Uh, one last thing I'd like to call out mm -hmm. on all of our ZTs, but it's most evident on this one. You can see that screw in the back. We've got a lock puck here. I don't know if you can see it when I turn it, but if you have a, with titanium handled knives, one of the problems you run into is yeah. that after a while using it a lot, right. the titanium wears on sure. the, the blade tank. Sure, sure. So what we do is we put a, a hardened, I think it's a hardened steel, um, like lock puck or insert in there. So which yeah. means you got that steel on steel. It just means the knife is gonna last you a lot longer. Yeah, makes uh, sense. And it's gonna feel good, you know, not just when you buy it, but hopefully, you know, a long ways down the road. Of course. So that's the 462. Okay. Up next, we got the 393. This is a Rick Hinderer uh, collaboration we've done. Nice. Uh, a while back, we made the ZT392, which was a limited a limited edition factory, you know, short run. Um, it was a great knife, people loved it, but of course, it was just that, it was a limited limited run. So we're making this a production version. Um, really great, you gotta check out this blade. It's got a, this harpoon-shaped blade with a spanto grind on there, which mm -hmm. is like a tanto and a spear point, really unique. And I think the black DLC on the flats combined with that satin finish really kind of brings out that grind really well. Super unique. Um, and again, this knife, it's a hinderer collaboration and it definitely feels like a hinderer knife, uh, which is really awesome. So unlike the 392, on the 393, we thinned out the handle scales a little bit. That's not gonna make it weaker, but it does make it lighter weight. So overall, it's the same thickness, but instead of having all titanium, we've got the titanium and G10, which just means it's you know a lighter weight knife and you get really good grip on there. Okay. You can see it has a, a custom hinderer texture on there. Again, keeping with that, that vibe of a, a Rick hinderer knife. Mm -hmm. On there, it's also got a filler tab in the back, and you can see obviously it's got this beautiful blue anodized titanium handle scales. Um, that is nice looking. Which is it's great. We're finally bringing some color into the ZT line, and not just color, but really, I mean, really great colors that fit Eye popping the, color. Fit the line really well. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So again, we got that clip on the back. Works a double position clip. Mm -hmm. Got the lock puck in there, so you're going to get longevity. Opens on KVT ball bearing washers, CPM 20 CV steel on the CV. blade there. Good, good. good. Yep. Good. All, all in all, it's a Excellent knife, and like I said, definitely feels like one of Rick's pieces. So that's really, yeah, feels like a hinderer knife. Uh, similar price range as the last? Yes, $300 MSRP. Okay. Pay for what you get. Cool. Yeah. All right, so we got our last ZT. It's an RJ Martin collaboration. Probably my favorite ZT we're doing this year. This is the 609. So a while back, a similar deal with the 393, we had a limited run version of an RJ Martin piece called the 606, which was a big hit, but again, limited run. So what we did is that we made a production version of it. We made it a little bit smaller, so it's easier to carry every day, which I really like, and the size of this knife is great. Um, in a lot of ways, I think we really improved on what we had there. Again, you've got the CPM 20 CV steel on the blade, that two-tone finish, you know, the uh, stone wash flats with the satin grinds and it really flows really nicely into that. This knife is a really organic design. It's also really ergonomic and it just fits really well. You can see again, like we alluded to earlier, we've got that see-through pivot on there, which is just, you know, iconic yep. RJ, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. RJ work. Opens I was waiting with, for that. Yeah, yeah. Opens on the KVT ball brain washers. 
bronze anodized titanium. You can check out this machining. This is my favorite part about the knife is the texture on there. Um, it just it looks great, but it also feels really good. It's got a really good, um, just gives you a really good grip on the knife. It feels, okay. yeah, check it out. It feels excellent. Um, really fun to fun to play with. Looks excellent, feels excellent. You can really get a good yeah. grip on this knife. Yeah, I uh, like it. Super, super ergonomic. It's, it's subtle but effective. Yeah, absolutely. It makes a really, really interesting piece. You can also see the jimping here. It continues from the edge of the blade on into the handle, which I really like. It's kind of an aggressive jimping that it fits the it fits the kind of organic vibe of the knife really well. Yeah, I actually like that quite a bit. That's yeah. cool looking. Yeah. So it's a that's a that's a really really fun one. Again, CPM 20 CV steel opens on ball bearing washers. We've got that lock puck in the back, so it's going to give good longevity to the knife. Mm -hmm. um, titanium with the bronze anodizing. And that comes in at 275. So something that I really love with all that texturing, this whole this whole handle scale has been 3D machined, mm -hmm. and usually that means longer machine time and a higher price at the end of the day. But this is coming in lower than the others, uh, which is really great. You know, for what you're getting, it's a great everyday piece at a really good price. Uh, so yeah, that's the that's the 609 from ZT. 609, very yeah. nice, very nice. Yeah, I think you're. Uh, I'm on. I'm on board with you. Of all the ZTs, I think this is my favorite one. Awesome. You got any questions, Shane? Uh, no, I just want to stare at the knife a little bit longer is all. <laughs> that sounds good, man. <laughs> no, it's looking good, good, man. That one is pretty sweet. The Atmos was pretty awesome. This guy here, it's just the, the light, light weight on this one is blowing me away. Good, um, good. Again, uh, I could, we could have, upgrade, we could have upgraded the steel on that, but I'm not complaining for the price and mm -hmm. for the looks and for the lightweight and the cool design. I really don't have any complaints on it. Um, there was some other really good ones in there too. Obviously, this guy was pretty sweet, a little chunky, a little heavy, but great looking. Uh, and, and tons of other ones, all these Natrix. These are actually really nice knives and very, I can see that they're very ergonomic, very good looking. Um, yeah, man, lots of good stuff here. That, what was it, the D2 Natrix here with yes. the copper. That guy is pretty sweet. Good, man, good. So, Glad and, and like the it. size is like right up my alley super deep pocket clip on. Yeah, definitely. So really easy to carry. Yeah, yeah. All right, tons of good stuff from Kershaw and ZT this year. All, as always, awesome, man. really happy like to you. stop by and see them. And Andrew, thank you, man. Did a yeah. great job. Really awesome. appreciate it. Thanks, Shane. Thanks we are at by. Kershaw and ZT at SHOT Show 2018. Thanks for watching. Hi, I'm Holly with Blade HQ. This is my Mora companion, and my favorite thing to cut is stale French baguettes.